Oh, free apps. Chances are you've downloaded some on your phone. But as Stranger Sites Gary Harper warns us tonight, free always comes with a price. Well, there are a ton of free apps available out there. Apple's App Store has 2.2 million free apps. Android users can choose from 3 million free apps. With numbers like that, you have to be careful. Phones, laptops, and tablets, they're part of our culture and a big part of our entertainment. Sweet. Apps are one of the biggest reasons we love our smartphones. And free apps, everybody loves free apps. But Ken Colburn of Data Doctor says there's always a catch to free. First and foremost, you got to understand, why is this app free? There's got to be an angle. They don't, this is not some altruistic thing. There has to be a revenue component somewhere in there. He's right, and those free apps usually make their money with advertisements. Generally speaking, a free app is supported through advertising. And in general, a lot of people are saying, well, I'm willing to put up with ads to, to get a free app. But these free apps could actually end up costing you in other ways. The problem is if you're on a limited data program and you use these free apps a lot, these ads are, are downloading the background while you're playing these games. You're using up your data plan with these free apps. And there are other gimmicks those free apps utilize that you need to be aware of. So another thing that a lot of free apps kind of ask for and, and sometimes require uh, in exchange for this free app, they have you, you know, sign in with your Facebook account or what have you. Or they may ask you to sign up using one of your other social media accounts like Twitter or Instagram. And when you do, basically you've given them a lot of personal information about you and they can silently track your usage. So Ken says before you hit that next free app, think twice. It might make sense to spend the 99 cents so that you never have to worry about these ads kind of eating up your data plan. By the way, it's always a good idea to go through your phone periodically at least to look for apps you don't use anymore. Getting rid of those kinds of apps will free up a lot of space and keep you from becoming a victim. I'm Gary Harper, three on your side.